Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022-23 Panini Contenders Basketball Half Case Pigger Team 3, which is actually the second half of the break of the case that is because Pigger Team 4 sold out first. All right, so big thanks to everyone who knocked out Pigger Team 3. Congrats to the people who won teams in the Contenders Pack Break number 3. Brian, you ended up with Last Spot Mojo with the Spurs before we pulled those teams out. All right, so there's three. Well, Mike, it's your question, so maybe it shouldn't be whatever criteria people want. You determine the criteria for us. Probably all subjective. Not You would rather go subjective, creatively, not, not money-wise? Who, Damon and Affleck had a shared bank account splitting the money 50-50? Do they think do you think they still have that account? Huh. Last duel has a 7.4 rate and an 85% on Rotten Tomatoes. Where where is that streaming? I, I want to watch that maybe this weekend. Let's take a look at that this weekend. Chris Jaspi in the house says Affleck has a way lower floor, but arguably a higher ceiling. I could see that. A lot of volatility in your fantasy actors lineup. All right, our first autograph is Legendary Contenders, 114 out of 199, Purvis Ellison. Purvis Ellison. For Stephen Olson. And the C's. There you go. First auto of the break. We got 117 out of 249. Boyan Bogdanovich. That's for the Pistons. That'll be for Nicholas. Got a Jason Tatum superstar die cut. And we got a Keldon Johnson season ticket. No, there's not even a number. I thought it was going to be something. It's not. I was fooled. We got a season ticket, James Wiseman, in that optic design there. We got out of 199, Io Dosunmu for Jason and the Bulls. And the autograph is Jaden Ivey. Who's got Detroit? Nicholas with the Pistons. Nice playoff ticket autograph. 12 out of 99. On card auto as well. We got uh, Jade Nivey on my bingo card. Oh, those are variations, the backwards paper base. So who is that? Kelton Johnson, I think? Yeah. There it is, the V for variation. And the Jade Nivey, nice. All right, another box. Oh, Mike! If you Mike Tower, if you like a good uh, if you like a good heist movie with a with a uh, mafia kind of tinge, definitely watch The Town. It's quite good. There's an excellent chase sequence in that movie as well. That's one of the uh, one of the better ones in recent memory. Maybe even better than that chase scene in The French Connection. Or the rock. Car chasing.
Here's 40 out of 75, Jeremy Grant. I actually did a... Uh, I actually kind of forgot about the movie. I think I watched it when it first came out way back when. Or when it first came out on VHS or whatever. <laughs> um, so it wasn't on VHS. But uh, I think it's... I, is it on HBO? It's on some streaming platform currently. And I rewatched it and I was like, man, this is pretty good. Here's Rookie of the Year contenders to 25. That's Nemhard for the Pacers. That's going to be for uh, Adam Kelly in Indiana. Actually, his teammate's probably the, uh, rook the Rookie of the Year contender. All right, we got our next autograph behind the superstar die cut Giannis. It is Jeremy Soshan. Rookie ticket autograph right on the card. For the Spurs, last spot mojo, Brian Watford. Nice. Well, the, the rookie class in 2022, some decent penmanship. Oh, that shootout in Heat, Dennis. I'm sure you and I have talked about this before, I want to say, but... He, one of my favorite movies just in general. Great ensemble cast. You know, Al Pacino as sort of his, at his, one of his best, I think. You know, in terms of 90s Al Pacino. But some one of his best performances. Not over the top, but just, just right on the edge of being over the top without being over the top, which is perfect Al Pacino, I think. There's Tyrese Martin, rookie ticket autograph for the Hawks, Chad. With Atlanta. That shootout in Heat takes place downtown Los Angeles. They closed down the... Uh, I think they, they did it over a couple Sundays, I want to say. Maybe a few Sundays? I don't know. I'll have to rewatch some of the... Uh, some of the... Rewatch like the behind-the-scenes stuff. But I want to say that they closed... The streets of downtown LA for three or four Sundays in a row to shoot that, to shoot that scene. And um, and I've also read that uh, that gun people have told me this, that that uh, Michael Mann who who directed the movie and whoever was doing the sound ed engineering on that as well, but um, but gun people will tell me. And I've read this, that um, the guns sound like they're supposed to sound. Like each weapon that's shown in the movie sounds like it's supposed to sound. So I guess if you're, if you're a gun person, that must be really distracting. <laughs> Where you're like, that's not what, you know, a Beretta sounds like. A 94F or whatever it doesn't sound like that compared to like a Glock or something, you know? Or a, the one of the assault rifles that they have in there. Yeah, the diner is actually a real place too, Mike Tower, uh, called Kate Manal Manal Man Mantinelli's, I want to say, um, which is a famous, uh, a famous restaurant in Los Angeles. There's a Devin Booker variation for Chad and the Sons, and uh, but alas, no longer no longer with us that restaurant. I think even pre-pandemic, I think it it had closed down. I've only been there once. There's like great, great. Uh, I didn't go there for food. I think food was kind of expensive, but um, dessert, great dessert. Out of twenty-five, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Bucks edition. I like that, Francis with the Bucks. So yeah, unfortunately, you can't go there. Uh, they did. They did have. Um, in the restaurant, though, they would ha they'd have a huge photo along the wall, right, with the shot of, uh, with the shot of uh, Al Pacino and Robert De Niro in that coffee shop scene where they're at the table. They had a big still photo of it from the shoot that they have with, had over there. I don't know where that is. 48 out of 40, maybe, the, maybe it was sold in an auction or something like that. There's Steph Curry for the Warriors, Larry, in that one. We got another on-card autograph. It is Musa Diabate, rookie ticket autograph for the Clippers. Raymond with the clip show.
I think years in the years following the movie Heat, I think there was like internet internet conspiracy where they were like those two guys were never in you know were never in the same room together when they filmed blah 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 because the because the editing is such that I don't think they're together in one shot. Yeah, Rays played the early game today. I actually bet on the Nationals. Oh, yeah, they won again today, too. That means I'm going to double my bet against the Rays next game they play. Riff or do, Riff thinks we're due for a big one in this case. So far, a bit underwhelming. Riffer not impressed with Jaden Ivey or Buck's edition of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? I guess not. Doesn't move the needle for him. And there's a Kyrie Nets variation. Superstar die cut. And an Andrew Nemhard cracked ice autograph. Landscape mode. 13 out of 25. Pacers, that's going to be for Adam. I have seen that clip of Hiddleston doing De Niro and Pacino with De Niro on the couch. It's pretty good. Uh, Kaminga going to Larry and the Warriors. And we've got Cameron Thomas, Contenders Autographs. Nine out of ten. That's for Graham and the Nets, not Graham Norton. The, uh, the presenter of the Graham Norton show. But Graham Foote, who bought the Brooklyn Nets. My favorite Graham. Graham Norton doesn't buy into our breaks. Graham Foote does. There's Chris Duarte to 249. The better gram in my book. But maybe not above the gram cracker. That's a tough one. Who's better? Graham Foote, who, uh, who joined the Contenders filler pack and got randomized the Nets, or the gram cracker? It's a tough one. Gram cracker might get the edge. Sorry, Graham Foote. Yeah, Graham Foot even agrees. Hard to beat a Graham Cracker. Can we talk about this movie, folks? I saw the menu. I finally watched the menu the uh, over this. I guess it was last weekend. Now it's almost a week later. No, just a standard Graham Cracker on its own. Sixty four at two forty nine, Jamal Murray. <laughs> nice one, Dennis. Dennis is white and Hispanic. He'd like to say he's a graham cracker in a way. <laughs> Has anyone done an impression of me? No. I mean, you know, people at the national will come up to me and they'll pull the train with is that an impression? Or is that just doing doing the Big Hit Express train whistle signal. There's Tyrese Martin for Atlanta. It's Chad. Yeah, the menu was awesome, right, Graham? It was quite good. I thought it was great. I enjoyed it. Here's a, out of 99, Jeremy Grant. Got a gold auto coming up, too. That's for Portland. That's going to be for Jake. Yeah, they're doing my catchphrase. Is that really an impression, though? It's veteran ticket auto, Dwayne Wade. 
Does that move the needle for Riffer? Or no? Are you not entertained? 7 out of 10 on that one. Are you not entertained? Oh, Riffer. <laughs> Riffer is not entertained. Would a Chet Holmgren change your mind, Riffer? <laughs> or a Jalen Shump ticket. Right, yeah, okay. You can you can guess the teams that Riffer may may have in this. All right, final box, final two autographs. Good luck, everybody. I'm liking this four pack. I'm liking this four pack config here. All right, good luck, everybody. We got a rookie ticket, Mark Williams, two out of five. A train whistle for Charlotte, Brian Watford. There you go, Brian, Brian. All aboard the Big Hit Express. We got a car on the Towns 249 from Minnesota. That's for Michael. Yeah, they could reduce the bond. Maybe they just didn't have time to reduce the. Uh, maybe they already ordered it. Maybe they have years of this box size ordered in advance, Mike. They just have to wait for that to run out. And their last autograph is Jake LaRavia for the Grizz. Memphis. That's going to go to Tongkyun. Yeah, I was a little surprised when I first picked up this case of contenders, Mike. It's the same, the, the case is the same size it's been for years. I picked it up and it was really light. And I was like, what? And I was like, Jason, this feels light. And he's like, yeah, it's only four packs of boxes here. I'm like, oh, okay. That makes sense. All right. We got Albert Sangun to 99 for Houston. And that, my friends, is that. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I will see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.